Well, Tom, Tom Cruise is a super intense guy who probably doesn't blow off steam on a regular basis. So it's like, I'm a pretty intense guy, but I blow off steam on my podcast every single day. Tom probably is a pressure cooker. And at some point it blows. But the thing I thought was interesting about that, because I listened to it in its entirety, it's it's weird when you get to such a point of power where nobody can talk back and no one can make excuses to your face. So when you go on one of these Jags, you just keep going. It's like playing handball against the curtains, like nothing ever comes back. So he ended up repeating himself 17 times because everyone was just dead silent in the room. If you think about <laughs> most arguments, most arguments you get into, you go X, Y, Z, they go PDQ, and then you just go back and <laughs> forth. It's a tennis match. That's, that's why he got very redundant. Uh, look, you got to love the guy's passion. He's probably somewhere doing push-ups right now. And uh, <laughs> I, do not, I do not fault him for, for that sanctimonious speech. <laughs> I, 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 I can't believe you just said that. I was thinking exactly the same thing because he kept repeating himself. And I don't know if, if, if you sense this, Adam, but I almost felt like he was petering out when he repeated it like the fourth time. It was just like, <laughs> was like it he wanted to say something different. He just couldn't think of it. He's like, I, I'm just going to go back to that same one again. Let's see if I get a reaction. You don't realize like he, when you argue or like, so what Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise had 10 minutes worth of energy and fire in his belly, but only 45 seconds worth of idea. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That is the best description I think I've heard of it. Totally, totally. Perfect. Yeah, I really started thinking about that. And I realized there are so many dads always do that. You know what I mean? They come bursting into the stepdaughter's room and they go, you leave that garage door open again and there's going to be hell to pay. And then the stepdaughter goes, all right, I'll close it Okay. next yeah, time. Because, because if you leave, you, 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 okay. First off, all right, that garage door was open when I pulled up last night. You know, the number one cause for break-ins are people coming in through the garage door and the door to the house was unlocked. So if you're even toying with the idea, don't even entertain the thought of not closing that garage door, stepdaughter. I just, I got home late and I forgot. I'm Okay. When I got home, it was open. Yeah, I forgot to close it. You know what it feels like? First off, I pay the mortgage on this house. I pay the insurance on this house. I pay for the groceries. I pay for that down comforter you have on your bed. And when I come pulling up and I see the garage door open, I'm like, who left this garage door open? And why can't they stop? Yeah, I did it once. It won't happen again. God. Well, you better see to it that it, uh, <laughs> you better, the, the, the garage door is not going to close itself. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's my fault. Okay. It's my fault. I get it. Well, you, you know what? You darn tuned it's your fault. <sighs> sure as hell ain't anyone else's fault. It's not LeBron James's fault. It's not Christian Ronaldo's fault. It's not any. I don't know who they are. No, I, sh I was watching Sports Center before I came in. Uh, <laughs> all right, it's not it. Not the manager of the Mets. Not his fault. It's not uh, <clears throat> bad beats. Um, you know what? What? The garage door is closed now. You want to know why? Why? Because I closed the garage door. Okay, thank you. Okay. You're more responsible than me. Okay? I can't be everywhere at once. I can't be at my job and monitoring the garage door. So it um so am I making myself clear? Yeah, I get it. I got it ten minutes ago. God You, you understand I don't like having these conversations, right? Yeah, I don't either. And you'd think just because it's gone on 20 minutes longer than it needed to, I would somehow get some kind of satisfaction out of this? I, I was hoping, yeah. I don't enjoy this. 
Do you think I get paid to do this? No, do you... I don't think you get paid to do this. Yeah. And, it, you know, I'm not trying to win some kind of popularity contest or some sort of freaking uh, Pillsbury Bake Off here. You, you understand I'm in charge of the, the safety of this uh, family? Yeah, I feel like I said thank you, and I'm sorry, and it won't happen again. You know where the number one break in? You know, you know how they enter. You know how the gangbangers enter the house. You know the number one opening they enter the uh, premises from the garage. Good guess. Now don't make me repeat myself, because uh, I didn't. You know, you think I'm enjoying this? Not enjoying this. Okay, it kind of seems like it. Don't you think I want to return to a safe home where the garage door is closed? Yes. Do you have any plans in the future of leaving the garage door open? Yeah, I think I said like five Yeah, times. you said yeah, you do? Could you yeah. inform me of those plans next yes, time? I, so I, I won't do it. It won't happen again. It was a mistake. I'm not doing this for my health. <sighs> Yeah, that would be tedious. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Thank you so much. It was starting start to internalize it. <laughs> That's why people get more pissed when you give them a quick answer, like, sorry, it won't happen again.